Here we have a hawthorn in the genus Crataegus. Now, for purposes of this course, we are only going to be teaching this at the level of the genus because there are 40 species in Wisconsin, and they're very hard to tell apart. In general, these are spreading trees or shrubs of small stature that occupy sunny areas, so prairies, forest edges, and oftentimes they're planted. They're characterized by long, smooth thorns. Let's take a look. With so many species, the leaves of Crataegus are variable. In this species, Crataegus cruscali, they're ob-ovate, but they can be lobed or um, entire and wider than this. In any case, the leaves don't help you too much. What really helps you in Crataegus are these long, smooth thorns. That's what gives this group the name hawthorns. And of course, the presence of a poem, like a little rose hip or a tiny little apple, um, which is characteristic, of course, of the genus Crataegus, but is also very common in the family Rosaceae, the rose family that this genus is in. The bark of Crataegus is rather flaky, unlike some of the other species, or sorry, genera that are in this family that we're going to be talking about in other videos. And of course, you can see the thorns oftentimes coming right out of the trunk. You can see the rather large spreading crown of the Crataegus tree, although they don't get very tall. And these trees provide very important food for wildlife because of the edible pomes.